Okay guys, back to the business of measuring pellets for their head diameter size and see if that has a significant impact on accuracy. Once again, I use this device. Let me show you this closer. Designed by Mr. Raymond Pratt. And what I have in front of me here, besides about three, eh, two hours of work, is some already very compelling data. We have three tins of JSB 18.1 grain pellets. 22 caliber. These were purchased from Pyramid Air in 2009. These were purchased from Pyramid Air in 2011. These were purchased from Air Guns of Arizona in 2011. And what we have in front of me here are the results of measuring the head diameter with raised device for these three tins of pellets. And they are considerably different. And 2009, the bulk of the pellets were 5.52 and 5.53 millimeter head diameter. For the 2011 Pyramid Airs, most of them came in at 5.54 and a chunk on 5.55. Air Guns of Arizona pellets proved to mostly be 5.50 and 5.51 head diameter. And what we have here, I think, are three different dies for these pellets. Now the gun I'm going to use to test all these is the Ed Gun Matador with a Lothar Walter barrel because it is the gun I am most familiar with. The most accurate tin of pellets I have ever had for this gun are a tin of 2009 JSB Diablo Exacts, 18.1 grain. But to be fair, the next tin after that, purchased in the same order as my most accurate tin, those weren't accurate again. So. Bear that in mind when I'm doing this. This isn't to say that all Air Guns of Arizona ones are going to be like this, all Pyramid Air ones are going to be like this. I'm simply using these different sizes to try to illustrate how hundredths of a millimeter and head diameter of a pellet may or may not have a significant influence on accuracy. So that said, I'm taking these and I'm going to randomize them. I want to put 10 on target at 50 yards and then put 10 on target at 100 yards and the 100 yard one I want to film to see if they do this. I have a hunch that when the pellet is too big or too small for a particular barrel it has a tendency to not fly properly like if you hold a football, an American football, too tight or too loose when you throw it you're not going to get the spiral that you want out of it. That's just a theory, but if it proves right, I'm going to really tap into some serious accuracy. The gun has been cleaned and seasoned with 20 shots through it, so we should be all ready to go. And I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad they're kind of different, to be honest. I'm glad that, I'm, that there's some variability here. Um, I guess maybe J JSB isn't glad that I revealed some variability, but, you know, it's there. And we all knew it was there, too. There's a lot of guys out there who, like, bend over backwards for a certain year, certain die, you know, <laughs> certain man operating the machine. When we home in on accuracy, we know what we have. We may not know what the head diameter is, we may not know the exact reason why they're shooting that well, but we know accuracy when we have it, and we're willing to pay for it. So I want to help uncover, hopefully, a controller for that accuracy. Okay, I'm going to put this all together here. And we're going to head out to the range today. We have a light wind out of the south. There should be no issues with wind affecting any of this. Let's get out of here. Too nice to be inside. Okay, here we are at the range. I have my three kinds of JSB pellets. I'm standing forward because if I'm back here, yeah, I wash out. So to keep things even Steven, I'm going to gas my gun 280 bar for each 10 shot group. I don't know which pellets are which. I also have 20 pellets that are straight from the tin of each one of those. And I even went so far as to go through the process. Put them in the sizer, take them out of the sizer. So if there was any oil from my fingers, then that variable would be you know, the same as the rest of them as well. Scientific. I hope 
that by now, with my videos, you can trust that I can hold this gun steady. Because I'm not going to put the scope cap on for every one of these. I'm going to take that camera, point it down range. It's a 32x zoom on that thing, and I love that camera. Some of you have asked what it is, and I'm sorry, I can't tell you. It's industry secrets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a Panasonic FZ150. It costs like 500 bucks. Okay, let's start shooting. Okay, I think I failed to mention this is the 50 yard range. And this camera, as good as it is, it wasn't quite good enough just to zoom from down range. So I'm going to set it up right here and run my butt back and forth, uh, hitting start and stop on the recorder. Hopefully, we got enough battery. Let's get moving. Okay, here we are at 100 yards. I got a target set down there with three inch uh, shoot and see targets on it. We're gonna take 10 shots of each with the 555s five 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 and the 555s, five five see what they look like through the slow motion camera. Alright, here are our two targets. These are the 5.51s. These are the 5.55s. These three right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is where those flyers, the accuracy is lost. These three, through the scope, doing this. They're crazy spirals. 
all of these there's a little bit of drift back and forth right and left but what hit it home for me is how each one of them flew true the entire distance that's what i wanted to see and it's clear that when the pellet is too big for this particular barrel it just doesn't exit the muzzle properly the barrel on your gun it might like them larger uh, if you have a really really tight choke smaller this one of course is choked the benjamin marauder that one is choked and if i remember correctly it's choked really really tight so if you're trying JSBs with a 555, you might think that they're not going to hold a group at all. Try some with a 5 <laughs> Try some with a 550 and you might have a damn good pellet there. So much to think about with this air gunning stuff. It just never stops. But if it did, I don't know, I'd probably cry on that day. Okay guys, there's a whole lot to take in. You take the data, process it however you want. I really hope you enjoyed this video because it took me a lot of time. As always, guys, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate you watching. I'll see you at the next video.